Replacing or upgrading your kitchen sink tap with something stylish and modern can make a huge difference to the aesthetics of your home and kitchen. It really is a simple task for you to do yourself. Follow these steps and we'll show you how. The tools that you're going to need is a screwdriver and a small and large shifting spanner. Firstly, turn off your water supply to the kitchen taps and release the pressure in the tap. This may mean turning off your mains water supply to your home. Ideally, your kitchen water supply line may have their own ball stop valves already. If not, look at fitting them whilst undertaking this DIY. It's just one extra step. With the water supply turned off and pressure released out of the existing tap, it's time to get started. Clear all the items and shelves from under the sink area to ensure you have sufficient space to work in. Make sure you have some old towels handy as there will be some residual water coming out of the pipes. This water will damage your cupboards if not caught by the towels. Loosen a nut on the flexi hose from the tap where it attaches to the water supply. If you don't have those ball stops, now's a good time to get them installed. Note excess water will trickle out, don't worry, this will stop. Unscrew the tap nut to loosen the tap fitting. This may be difficult in those tight spaces, but just take your time. Once the nut and washers are removed, you can pull out the tap and the flexi pipes from the top of the sink. Clean up the whole area on the top and underside. Often it can get messy over time, especially if there's been any leaks. Pre-assemble the new tap by screwing in the mounting bolts. Screw in the hot and cold flexi pipes. Insert the new assembly through the sink tap hole. Slide on the washer from the underside and secure the nuts to ensure the tap is secure. Again, this can be finicky, but make sure the nut is secured tightly to ensure no movement of the tap. Tighten the flexi hoses to their mating ball stop valves. Do not over tighten, otherwise you may damage the rubber washer seal. Hot to hot and cold to cold. Turn on your water supply and open the tap to bleed any trapped air. Close the tap and ensure no water leaks on your fittings. That's it, the upgrade is complete and not only do you have an awesome upgrade to your kitchen tap, but you get the bragging rights that you did it yourself. Be sure to check out the Builders website and YouTube channel for more DIYs just like this and product reviews.